Hi guys, it's Cora Legan. Today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between classical violin and bluegrass fiddle. Uh, here at Booth Music, I get asked a lot, what's the difference between the two instruments? Surprisingly, the difference between the instruments is nothing. It's just they're both on violins. The difference is technique and how you play. So I'm going to demonstrate the two. I'll focus more heavily on bluegrass because that's what I do, but I will kind of demonstrate some classical so you get both. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is classical style. With classical style, you get a lot of like um, crescendos and decrescendos. You have a lot of bowing techniques where it's written in. Uh, classical, you play mostly with a big group of people, like in a symphony or an orchestra or a quartet. And so you have a lot of techniques that you have to follow exactly the markings in the music. It's much more strict. There's not a lot of flexibility with classical music, whereas in bluegrass music, it's completely flexible. You can do basically whatever you want and it still sounds really cool. So I'm going to demonstrate a little piece of classical music for you real quick. You'll see that my bow, um, I have very precise bowing techniques and you'll hear a lot of decrescendos and uh, crescendos. The volume will change. So just listen for that. <laughs> So in an orchestra, all of the violins would be playing that same exact thing. Um, everybody would have to be doing the bowings the same, the decrescendos and the crescendos at the same time for it to sound how the piece is supposed to sound. One of the biggest techniques in bluegrass music is improvising and then adding more to the piece. So with bluegrass music, a lot of the time you'll add a bluegrass jam, you'll be in a circle and you'll have a lead sheet. So everyone's following the lead sheet. It usually just has like the basic melody and then the guitar chords so that everybody can follow along. But it, when you're doing bluegrass fiddle, you can kind of make stuff up to go along with it. There's really no bowing. It might show you what stroke to start on, like start on a down bow or start on an up bow, but that's basically it. It's just kind of a free for all. So I'm gonna demonstrate Old Joe Clark. I'll start by the very basic melody and then I will show you a couple of different bluegrass techniques you can do to add to that. So that's the basic melody of Old Joe Clark. Something that you can do with bluegrass fiddle is do a double stop, which is where you're playing two notes at the same time. It's a very common thing to do with bluegrass fiddle. So this is Old Joe Clark with a double stop. Another thing that you can do with bluegrass is you can add extra little ornament notes. They do that a lot. So this is Old Joe Clark this time with the ornament notes. So you can see it followed the basic melody each time, but it just added an oomph to it. Another technique with bluegrass music is improv. So you can take a simple tune and uh, you'll do a break. So when you're in a bluegrass jam circle, they'll say, do you want to take a break? And that doesn't mean take a break from playing the music. It means it's your turn to take a little solo in the song and kind of just make up your own little thing. As long as you stay in the same key as the song, then you're golden. So let's demonstrate with um, You Are My Sunshine. <laughs> So you could hear the main melody of You Are My Sunshine at the beginning, and then I took my little break, and you could tell I was in the same key, 
but just kind of making something up that sounded cool. That's bluegrass. You just make it up all the way, and it's kind of fun. So if you remember earlier in the video when I was doing that classical piece, uh, my bowings were really precise. I was really watching the angle of my bow and the direction that it was going. Um, with bluegrass music, you do a lot of bouncing kind of bowing techniques. So I'll kind of demonstrate that. Like I said before, I'm doing more of the bluegrass stuff because it's what I'm most familiar with. Uh, there are a lot of videos out there where you can see very technique precise classical stuff and you can tell the difference is huge. <laughs> So that's a double stop kind of bouncing bowing technique that you do with bluegrass fiddle, which is really fun. You'll hear that a lot in like the Orange Blossom Special. There's a bunch of different songs that have that um, double stop bouncing bow technique. You don't really see that in classical music very much. Another fun thing in bluegrass music that you're not going to see quite as much in classical music, which is really fun for me, this is probably my favorite part of bluegrass fiddle, is the slides. So in classical music, you're not really going to see pieces that you, you slide to the note. It's just very straightforward. So in bluegrass music, you can do a lot of those slides. They do it a lot to get like a train whistle effect. You'll see a lot of slides in bluegrass music. You can start off the piece by sliding into the note. It makes it kind of fun, especially if you feel like you were kind of flat or sharp on one of your notes. You just slide into it, slide back down into it. It sounds like it's part of the bluegrassy technique. And then you're in tune. It's kind of fun. That was our video on classical violin versus bluegrass fiddle. If you're interested in any of these techniques, be sure to su subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos in the future. So I hope that I was able to teach you something about the difference between the two. I did focus more on the bluegrass, but look out for more videos. There might be one on classical in the future. I hope you guys have a good day.